Hello everyone. This week we're going to make roasted butternut squash soup. Last week I went through making stock and we're going to use some of that stock to make this fantastic, pretty simple recipe to make a roasted butternut squash soup. And it's one of my favorite things to serve in the autumn. I grew up eating soup. In fact, my mum made fresh soup almost every day when I was a kid. And so my love of soup stems from when I was a tiny little thing. And this one is one of my favorites. So here we go. You need a roasted butternut squash and one squash about this size will make soup for six to eight people. And you need to roast it first and it's a really easy thing to do. So you take the top and the bottom off the butternut squash, use a sharp knife and be sure to hold the butternut squash steady on the chopping board so it doesn't roll away. And cut it, like cut the ends off. And there's a reason why you cut the ends off because you want it to stand up to be able to then split it. Oh, there we go. Like so. Now then, you have to get rid of this, the pits inside, and I like to use an ice cream scooper to do that. It works really well and it's easy and quick to do. Bit of olive oil on the pan and you roast these cut side down so take the uh, butternut squash half and I just like to make sure the olive oil covers the whole of the bottom of the pan and then put the other one on them and just that's all you need to do um, do make a couple of cuts in the top just so it doesn't I like to do this just to make sure it doesn't bubble up. That's the oven telling me that it's ready to put in the oven. So I'm just going to go and pop this in now. 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. Be right back. All right. So after about 45 minutes in the oven, this is what they look like. And um, it's easy to scoop out the flesh. You want to get to the point where they're easy to scoop out. And I'm just going to use two spoons, turn them over. Look at that beautiful color. Isn't that fantastic? Delicious. All right. Pop this into a bowl. You can also do this with pumpkins or make a mixture of pumpkin and butternut squash or any other squash that you like. This is an easy, easy way of roasting them. And you can roast the pumpkins in exactly the same way. So we're going to use all of the pumpkin flesh and put that into a saucepan with some cooked onions. Now then, we're going to take our butternut squash and make the soup on the stove. So to complete the soup, what you need to do is to pour a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the saucepan with a thin layer and then heat that up. And then this is one large chopped onion, sort of cut in half, peeled and thinly sliced. And we're gonna pop that into the pan. And that's going to cook for about three or four minutes. You want them to get soft, maybe, maybe four to five minutes. And I'm going to add to this a little pepper, about five or six grinds of pepper. Okay, seven or eight grinds of pepper. And a good pinch of salt. This is nice coarse sea salt from the Atlantic coast of France, Sel de Guérande. It's got this lovely moist texture and crunch to it. Which I love the flavor of that salt. Okay, I'm gonna cook this so that they get soft. You want to get them to the point where they're soft and translucent. After that, once they're soft, we're going to add in all that fabulous roasted butternut squash, which will just melt in with the onions and add about five or six cups of vegetable sock to it. All right, I think this is about right. These are nice, getting soft in the pan and starting to get a little brown. And now we'll add in 
with the butternut squash. I'm just going to pop all of this into the bottom of the pan. Stir this around. And then to this mixture, I'm going to add, and I hear I've got about five cups, five and a half cups, of beautiful vegetable stock. Just add that all in there. And now I'm just going to let this simmer. And this simmers for about 15 minutes. Once it's all warmed through and, and all the flavors have come together, then you can puree it. Here is this wonderful soup base that has been cooking for 15 minutes. That gives the chance for the onions and the butternut squash to just meld together. It's fantastic. I'm going to puree the soup using an immersion blender. You can use a regular blender, and if you do that, be careful, this is a hot liquid, so don't overfill the, the, the regular blender because the top could go leaping off and you'd have soup everywhere, which is unpleasant, I know, because I did that once, and that's why now I like using these. So immersion blender, you just put the base of the blender straight into the bottom of the bowl, and then Cure it, and it's magic. I like to, I just lift it once or twice in the bottom of the bowl. You want to keep doing this until the soup is completely smooth. Look at that, it's just beautiful. This is a great soup to have at the beginning of the holidays for Thanksgiving every year. Ever since the very first Thanksgiving that I came to in America, I had that Thanksgiving with a friend of mine and she served soup as the first course. And I have kept up that tradition every, ever since. So here we go, our wonderful roasted butternut squash soup. I'm just going to get rid of that. And I like to serve this in bowls with a dollop of creme fraiche or a dollop of yogurt. It adds a little tang to it and some chopped chives. So I actually like to keep the elastic band on the chives when I'm chopping them. It holds them in place and makes it easy to chop. We just need a little handful of chives to put into the top of each soup bowl. There we go. And this is what you can do. So a nice ladle of this beautiful soup. Or two. Delicious. And a little, this is yogurt, Greek yogurt, a little bit in the top of the yogurt. Like that. And a sprinkling of chives over the top. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. In fact, I think I'll have a bite right now. Bon appetit!